What just happened? 2018 was a whirlwind of a year and it all started with a trip to Nam. This was my very first trip to California and it was exciting not only because I got my hands on the latest, hottest gear, but also because I got to meet up with some industry friends who previously I had not met except for online. Yo, man. While I was in California, I got this 8 tattoo, which has its importance to me for a lot of reasons, but the main reason I got it was for this idea of rebirth. And I felt like while I was on this trip, my artistic identity was officially being reborn as Tetro. After the trip, the gear just kept coming in and I got my hands on the Akai MPC Live and the Machina Micro Mark III. This was super exciting because brands like Akai and Native Instruments are brands that I've always hoped to work with and finally this year we were able to start collaborating. I also got my hands on new gadgets like that sweet metronome watch and the Touche SE which I used to create one of my personal favorite live sessions of the year. I put out a single called Strange Heart. And collaborated with ADSR to create my very first online course. 2018 came to close with a huge bang, surpassing 50,000 subscribers. And also with one more trip back to California. This time for Ableton Loop. I got to meet up with some friends that I hadn't seen since earlier this year. In the building. And then also got to make new friends, like Sarah Brown, the producer, songwriter, who I collaborated with in the sample challenge at Loop. Andrew Wong selected our track and presented it at the conference, and it gained us a ton of attention. Now, putting in all this work over the past year and then having it all culminate at Loop opened a lot of doors. Doors that I hope to take you through in 2019. This has been Tejo, your electronic music mentor. Thank you for a great year.